everyone, this is Strand from ExtremeRigs.net and today I would like to talk about uh, Coolant's Quick Disconnects. Um, some of you know what these are, some of you don't. So let's go over exactly what they are first. Quick Disconnects, and I have one here, I'm taking out of the bag. Coolant's Quick Disconnects are a quick and simple way of disconnecting tubes in your water cooling system without leaks. So, this is the new QDC3 series from Coolens. And if we pull this little thing, out it pops. And you may get a couple of drops um, out of the end, but there won't be a significant leak. Still low, make sure your power is off, all that good stuff. And then to reconnect it, you just push it back in, and it clicks on. And then flow will be resumed. So this is the newer QDC3 series, as I said. The QDC3 is the smaller version, and then the QDC4 is the larger, more industrial version. I'll get one of those out for you. And the difference really, the QDC4, like I said, is not really designed for um, most of us enthusiasts. And there you can see the difference. It doesn't look much. Um, at this scale. But if I rummage around and get a CPU block real quick, he says, not knowing where his CPU blocks are. But they must be, ah, here they are. So let's grab a random, random CPU block. Alright, here's a race one. So if we get something to compare, a banana for scale, if you will. So there's your CPU block. You can see the QDC3 is not that large compared to it. But you can see this QDC4 is really pretty fat and it's a lot longer. And the other issue with the QDC4, well, there's a few. Um, because they're so fat in the middle, you can't actually fit them on a lot of blocks. There we go, wrecking the place. If we put one on there and get another one out, I won't be able to fit it on there. You see, it's just too fat in the middle here, in, in the, the actual quick disconnect lock ring. So same thing with the QDC4. You pull it and it pops off. And this is a significant improvement over the old design, which I'll show you in a minute. So I would say, stay away from the QDC4 unless you really know you have the space and you really know that you want something low restriction. The QDC4 should be half the restriction, and I'll test this later as part of my review, should be half the restriction of the smaller QDC3. So because it's smaller, obviously flow is going to be um, restricted a bit more but it's actually doubly restricted. And if you have a lot of these, it might hurt your um, loop flow rates. So if you have a massive computer and you're not worried about things, by all means get the QDC4s. But the second part to why the QDC4s are hard to use is that there's less options. With the QDC3s, they come in a wide variety of options. You get different options for different tubing sizes. This is the half inch, three quarter inch, well, half inch inner diameter, three quarter inch outer diameter compression fitting. So you would stick your tube on the barb there and the lock ring would clamp it down onto that barb. QDC3 will come in different tubing size compression fittings, as well as barbs. On the other side, you can get the version that has a thread ready to screw into a block. Um, you also get ones that have right angle adapters on them, just built in. And the QDC4 doesn't. QDC4 doesn't have any right angles. 
and also it doesn't have the standard G and a quarter threaded adapter. What it has is G and three eighths. So even though I screwed this nicely in here, that's because there's actually, see this little, little ring there? This is an adapter, a coolant adapter. So if I unscrew that, you'll see there's actually a bigger thread underneath. Ta-da! So, not only the QDC4 is also more expensive, but then you have to buy this adapter as well. Because almost nothing in water cooling, say almost nothing, they do exist, is G in 3 eighths. Almost everything, 99.9% .9 is G in a quarter. So bear that in mind. For almost everyone, get the QDC3 series. Now, to go back to the other difference between the old quick disconnects and the new ones, is to do with how they attach. Like I said, on the new series, you pull the lock ring and it pops off. And you just push it back in. That is a lot nicer than the old version. So I'll get an old version for you to see. Actually, I have some with tube already on them. Because I was trying to be prepared. So if we take these two pieces, this is the old BL3N series. And instead of just pushing on like that, you have to push on and then twist, like so. They're a similar size, similar size, not exact, um, to, the, to the new ones. So the major change is really in how they pull apart. Now you can pull a lock ring versus twist. And that's important for water cooling because when you twist something, you have a chance of the other end twisting as well. Let's say I'm unscrewing that a quarter turn to take it off, and then the other end of the tube, maybe it's on a compression fitting on a block. Maybe when it twists, it undoes that compression fitting. And you may not notice, but then you may turn things back on and not tighten this up, and suddenly you have a leak. So the push system, I really do think, is a significant improvement. The internals haven't supposed to have been changed. If you look at the difference in the end, ends of the QD4, which is this one, and the old VL4N, which is the old style, you can see internally they look the same. And so we're not expecting flow rates to be any different, not expecting restriction to change. All we're really doing here, um, all, well, not us, but cool ants, all cool ants really did was change the way they pulled apart. There's no new options. Everything is pretty much the same as the old VLN series, so the VL3N and the VL4N have basically just been exactly replaced with the QD3 and the QD4. And I would certainly recommend the new series over the old. Uh, so that's it for now. Um, like I said, I will be testing all of this to confirm it, um, but that is my expectation. My general feel up front is definitely go with the new ones, and I will let you know if I have any problems with them. That's it for now. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash extreme rigs, and subscribe to the channel.